All right, guys, we're going to talk about team defense, okay? We've got four different defensive uh, options uh, that we're going to have uh, available to us on June 1st and 2nd. Option one is going to be just our normal crease slide and recovery, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how we're going to run that. Option two is an adjacent slide. Uh, obviously, that's uh, uh, if they're in an open formation, there's no crease, we'll make that live adjustment. Option three is going to be a two-man shutoff where we take short stick middies away and force them to go against our poles. Then option four is a zone, okay? So here are the different four different things that we're going to run. The first defense we're going to run is going to be our basic defense, okay? And a basic defense, and I'm just going to draw everything out of a 1-3-2. All right, and we call this a 30 set, okay? And uh, we use all of Notre Dame's terminology for sets. Uh, I worked at Notre Dame with Kevin Corrigan early in my career, and I, I've used his set terms. So I'm gonna work, a lot of our terminology is going to be uh, Notre Dame terminology. But um, this 30 set, um, basically the ball, wherever the dodge point is, and the ball's in front of the cage, um, then we want to essentially uh, slide from the crease and support from the least dangerous guy, all right? If you split your defense up into two groups, you've got your middies and your attackmen. If the middies are dodging the alleys, we do not want to try to slide up and fill up, okay, from the defense, okay? The bottom up, all right, a bottom up fill is what we would call a Bama. All right, a Bama, okay? We want to try to avoid doing that, all right? Instead, what we want to try to do is we like to flop down, okay? This is the follow help D midi, all right? And as this uh, ball D midi is being dodged, that follow help D midi is going to, all right, is going to flop, flop down to fill and help cover the crease, all right? And that's going to be our goal to try to step down and cover the crease as this dodge happens, all right? The one slide should be ball side always inside the crease and should always have one foot pointed to his man and ready to slide, knees bent, crease position, ready to slide. All right, we're gonna step in from the backside defense and create less space. Everybody's gonna have one foot, all right, on this imaginary, uh, imaginary arc, okay? What we call the hub, all right? And everybody's gotta have a stake in the hub Okay, and the hub is what generates the slide. You squeeze the hub, and that gives the slide permission to go. So here's your, your, your long stick, perhaps. He's on that midi on the crease, and we're going to take the field, split it in half. If we're playing true angle, all right, this is true. Or we could flatten out and force this guy to his weak hand if we're going to run a flat. So we've got two different on-ball angles we can play. We can play true angle, we can play flat angle, okay? Right now we're gonna be in a true angle, all right? That's our, that's our default call, all right? And in that true angle, that on-ball defender, all right, is gonna take away the middle of the field and force this midi, all right, down the alley. All right, as he comes down the alley, we're gonna, so there's probably gonna be a rotation or some type of action with the attackman, but our one slide is gonna go. We wanna slide vertical, not horizontal. We wanna slide upfield, we wanna slide quick. All right, we wanna make sure that they don't have time to shoot. The whole idea of sliding is disallow them to be able to shoot on the run. All right, so we go early, we flop down from the backside, and then now this ball defender changes his name All right, and he becomes now a recover midi. All right, and our term for recovery is burn. All right, he's going to burn the crease. All right, so a lot of people call the crease hot. All right, when you slide, it's fire. All right, we're going to burn the crease. Uh, we got to burn back to the crease, okay? And that's going to be our terminology. And once we release back to the crease, then that flop midi can, can relax his responsibility as a help midi and he can step back out, okay? So that's, that's general uh, crease slide principles, all right? Now from behind, we're not gonna slide to our defensemen, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask all of our defensemen to play a good one-on-one -on -one technique, all right, with back steps, okay? And, and drop step into angles. So as their attackman changes, they're gonna back, you're gonna back step off your approach Backstep off your approach and make him commit to the front of the cage 
you're going to drop step and straight line cut him and you're not going to inside roll him. You're going to basically drive him at the point of contact. All right, Paco is our term for point of contact. You're going to drive him when you get there towards that midfield pylon. All right, and that's going to be what your job is. We don't want to put our hands on the guy behind the cage as an attackman comes out of his move. If you put your hands on him here, he can still see this opposite side. So he can change on you again, and now you're chasing him to the goal line. That's not what our goal is. What we want to try to do is we want to back step off of him, make him change, all right, open up, get him to commit to one side, and then we're going to basically uh, get on him hard, Thump his, thump his hands hard once, and then point of contact, we're going to create contact with him and drive him off his line. All right, that's the way you saw just about everybody play Jojo Marasco uh, yesterday, and uh, that's the way we're going to play every attackman that we see uh, in, in, the, uh, in the tournament. Okay, that means that guys on the crease, all right, defense and D-middies, all right, you guys have got to stay ball side on your, on your players, and you've got to be able to lead those guys on their cuts. Goalies will call out what side the ball's on, back left, all right, back right. So you've got to be able to stay hard to the right and make sure that you force guys to back cut you and don't let anybody get open between you and the ball. You take that space away and jump that cut, all right, force guys to back cut you. All right, it's a much harder feed. It's a lot easier for you to be able to get a check, all right, and goalie's going to give a loud check call. But that's essentially what we're going to, that's going to be our, our, our solo, all right, if you will, defense from behind. Okay, so we're basic when the ball's up top, we're solo when the ball's behind. All right, now, if we need to come adjacent, all right, if we need to come adjacent, if they're in an open, all right, nothing really different here than what you probably already do, but let's put the dodge point here. All right, our adjacent slide is going to come from this defender. All right, D1 will be the one slide. All right, D2, D3, long stick midi, D midi one, D midi two. All right, the difference is going to be that we're not going to recover out of this um, in an adjacent format. We're going to recover to the crease still. Now you say, coach, there's no crease. Well, right now there's not, but almost every time in an open set when someone begins to dodge, all right, there's somebody clearing through space to the crease. Somebody's got to get through. There's too many people in the perimeter, and usually that happens where the slide comes on your adjacent. All right, if the two slide were to come here, the three here, then we've got to rotate all the way around. What we want to do with this burn, okay, we want to burn him back through to the crease, and that will release whoever the next player is out or out or out, and that will kill, all right, that'll kill the, um, the need to to have to have everybody rotate. So if this burn comes back into the crease, let's say that this defender got stuck inside, this defender came here, the ball came forward, all right, and then came back here, that burn could send D3 back out to play this weak side. 